We're celebrating summer and so this month's recipe we have an artichoke and ratatouille pie. What we need to do is to get from this, which is an artichoke, to this, which is the artichoke heart. What I'm going to do is take off the stalk, then remove the leaves. Once I've removed these outer leaves, I'll expose the choke and use this grapefruit spoon just to dig in and get out the hairy sort of choke that's in the centre. So when I get to this stage, what I want to do is take a knife and just trim around the bottom like this, removing these bits of stalk and green. Turn it round and I'm now going to cut through the top. Okay. So there we are. Okay, so I'm getting to the, the heart of the matter, so to speak. So what I'm going to do now is take my grapefruit spoon, my serrated edge, and dig into this choke, which is the, the one main part of the artichoke you really don't want to eat because it, uh, <clears throat> I think you would, uh, well, that's why it's called a choke. This is what you should end up with. You've taken all the gubbins out of this here now and you've got the, the heart of the artichoke. Just take that little knob off there to make it nice and round. What you need to do also, of course, is to rub it with a bit of lemon juice because it does oxidise very, very quickly and go dark brown, most unappealing colour. The preparation of the peeling is the hard bit of the artichoke. The easy bit is cooking it, really. You can either steam it or basically just poach it. When cooking artichokes, it's very important that you actually cook it in what's called a fond blanc, which is water with a little bit of flour mixed in and lemon juice. If you don't do this, the artichokes will colour. So remember, it's water, a little bit of flour and lemon juice. Basically, it's 10 grams of flour to about half a litre of water and half a lemon. OK, what I've got here is some all-butter puff pastry. It's a very high-quality one. And I'm going to cut a little disc out of this, because this is going to sit on top of the artichoke. In order to replicate the look of the artichoke a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm actually create some little leaves, working all the way around so I've got these little indents, so that when the actual puff pastry puffs up, hopefully you'll get uh, some distinguishing leaf marks coming from the surface of the, the pastry disc. And some smaller leaves at the top here. The way I'm going to assemble this pie is to put the ratatouille inside the artichoke base and then I'm going to top it with a puff pastry, glaze it and cook it in the oven. You could of course use any combination of your choosing to stuff your artichoke uh, with like tomato provencal or anything with some herbs or rosemary. I've used this ratatouille because it's, uh, it's a tried and trusted recipe and uh, goes really really well in this dish. Okay, I'm popping my ratatouille into the artichoke now. Be very careful not to overfill it so it doesn't spill out and spoil the appearance of the finished product. The pastry is now going on top of the artichoke. I'm just going to press it round. I'm just going to egg wash these now, my little artichoke fine sauces. Fifteen minutes at gas mark 200 and it's now ready and I've assembled it onto this plate. I'm pleased with the way this has turned out with the pastry nice and golden here and it looks a bit like an artichoke. You could serve a pie like this as a starter for a vegetarian with some uh, raita which is the yogurt, mint and cucumber sauce but artichoke has got a fantastic affinity with lamb. You could serve the best end of lamb with this. In this case, I've just got a little couple of little lamb kebabs, and I've put some lemon and herb couscous on here as well. Um, and it's quite a nice, light, summery dish. I hope you're having a great summer. We are at the windmill, and I hope to see you again next month.